Okay. Hi, Arlene. How are you? Jan, hi. I'm fine. How are you? Well, you sound fine. You sound like a happy camper. <laughs> uh, well, I'm happy to speak to you. <laughs> oh, good, good. Well, thank you. So what, what are you calling about this evening? Um, well, I have um, a few areas. Um, the last two years, I would say, I've had quite a few financial challenges. Um, also, I have a few creative projects that I've been trying to work on for quite a few years. I would say like, you know, mostly like the last eight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have not been able to launch any of them. I just kind of, you know, get to a certain point and I can't seem to like either hook up with the right people or know where to go with it next. And um, nothing is happening. I have a book project, um, an invention, and also I've been thinking of starting a coaching practice, but mm -hmm. um, I seem to get stuck. I seem to go just so far, mm -hmm. and uh, something comes up for me that just um, stops me. I, mm -hmm. I think what it is is you don't know where you're going next. It's like you have all this enthusiasm for, mm -hmm. for creating something, and you have yeah. the strength and the willpower to see that project through to completion. But it all kind of happens in a void. You know what I mean? It's like you get this inspiring idea, you take action, you go ahead and you create it. And then you've got that project ready to go. So the next step, and, and then you don't feel the energy, you don't know what to do next, and there's probably a certain insecurity because you don't know how to connect to others to sell what it is that you have. Um, does that make sense to you? Yeah, well, I feel that the ideas <coughs> that I have are innovative and uh -huh. conventional. Yes, I and agree. Because, because they are, I, I think maybe that's part of what comes up for me, like, oh, this is unconventional or, oh, this is different. And I almost at some point perceive that as a problem. Yes. This comes from a lot of past lifetimes, Arlene, when you were the, a king or some kind of an entertainer where uh, you depended upon the applause from others. Like you can imagine if you were the Queen of England, you've got to do it the way society wants, to get that applause and to do your position well. So there's part of you that is too vulnerable to approval. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? It's like your Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. And because of that, there's a tendency to, to not want to be unconventional because you're afraid that people won't approve of you or you won't please them. But yeah, this, and I think I've, I've done some past life work, and I know that I have been uh, persecuted for... Oh, great. This is a wonderful opportunity, then, to go forth, see what happens, and erase that tape in your subconscious. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to do it. When I published my first book, I was sure that I was going to be killed. I, I knew I was going to be killed. I thought I was going to... Actually, I thought I was going to be shot. I knew it mm -hmm. beyond the shadow of a doubt. But I went ahead, and I did it anyway, knowing full well I was going to die. But I knew it was the right thing to do. Well, at the end of the day, I didn't get killed, you know. So I just kept publishing more, more books, and I don't have that fear anymore. So it's the best way through fear is to, by golly, take the bull by the horns and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, we got a whole bunch of people on the line tonight, Arlene. So, uh, you, by the way, you're in a good romance cycle right now and a very high creativity cycle. Uh, do you see something coming up soon? For yes, Arlene? right now. Get get out and about. You got Jupiter in the fifth house. Okay. Uh, Can you tell me anything about my uh, my the aspect of uh, Jupiter and uh, Venus in my chart? Yes, I can. But I'll tell you, we have our lines are full. Can you call back uh, at on another show? We'll be happy to 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 fit you in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Thank you, Arlene. Thank Thanks you. for calling. Bye bye. Okay. Jan, I want to know about my past life. God, that sounds great. <laughs> well, I'll get your chart. We'll take a peek, okay, Frank. Okay, I'll do that <laughs> tomorrow. Um, we are really booked up tonight. It must really must be the weather. I cannot believe it. Uh, you're hopping tonight. So you have <laughs> Nancy, I believe, is on hold for you. Nancy. Great. Okay. All righty. How are you tonight, Nancy? Hello, Nancy? Well... Hello. Um, yeah. yeah. Hello. Are you there? Yeah, Nancy. Uh, no, this is Christine. Christine. Okay. Do we have Christine, Christine's okay. chart? Yeah, we have Christine. Okay. Lines are so busy. We're getting confused over here. Here we go. Now we have. Yeah. Well, I don't want to read the wrong chart for you, Christine. I mean, you'd say, "What no, is she I'm, talking I'm about?" <laughs> going on with the right chart. <laughs> no. Okay. We got you. December twenty-two, right? Correct. And I'm not telling the year. No way, Jose. Oh, that's 
That's all right. I worked hard to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. Oh, you know, I have a friend here in New York. Her name is Deborah, and she is so funny. She said she used to look at older people, you know, that were kind of hobbled over or walking slow. This is New York City. People walk on the streets. You know, they get their exercise that way. Oh, yeah. We all do. <laughs> so... <coughs> she said she used to look at those people and she'd say, well, there's another old person. She'd just go on her way. Now she looks at him and she says, there's another warrior. Living, <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, living, Lauren. Learn. Yeah, right. Her perspective has changed, you know. You get through that much life, especially in this town, and boy, you're, you know, you're, you, you've you been through some stuff. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> so uh, what, can, what can I do to support you tonight, Christine? Well, I have a very strong interest in whatever's going on in the fourth house and it, I mean there's a lot going on in that chart and my life I mean, some of it's really quite bizarre and strangely my question is not even because of the eclipse that we just had mm-hmm. um, it really is I, I'm really interested why I, I can't seem to get get a grasp on a permanent residence I have had absolutely no permanent residence since October of 2009 and I can't figure it out what's going on? Um, well, I'll tell you. So you know astrology, huh? Do I know what? Astrology. So, uh, I mean, if I mention your astrology chart, you'll know what I'm talking about. A lot of this has to do with the transit of Saturn going on to your moon. Yes. 